dear friends welcome to my kitchen <clears throat> i was just doing some cooking and i thought i will get back online and say hello to you all i've been away for like several weeks now i did upload a video a couple of weeks ago uh we have been sick my husband and i we unfortunately got hit with covid 19 so it has been a challenging several weeks in our lives but we've managed to pull through we, we were never warded uh, we did not have very high fever, but we had lots of other symptoms that we managed to take care of here at home. So the best idea is to isolate yourself and be at home. Take care of the symptoms if you need to take your aspirins or Panadol. So Alvedon is something that we have here. Or if you need ibuprofen, cough mixture or whatever. I don't know. you got to listen to your healthcare uh, people. <clears throat> but we have pulled through. My hubby has gone back to work and I've been to church and I did share my first sermon yesterday in our Sunday service and I thought like now it's high time for me to get back and do what I love to do talk about the Lord encourage people with the word from heaven and also share my passion for cooking especially uh, baking and cooking Chinese food that's something that I really love I grew up in a Chinese neighborhood in Malaysia so everything that I remember and love Besides my mom's Indian cooking, it's definitely Chinese cooking. So do follow me if you like. Um, I'm hoping to share my life with you all and hope to hear from you. For life is something that we do together. I feel like I would like to share about my experience uh, having COVID-19. And what did I think about it as a Christian? How did I face it? what were my concerns and fears we have that general symptoms fever cough extreme pain in our bodies muscle ache letharginess my husband fell sick first and later on i i got it so the first few few days, I was healthy enough to take care of my husband. And then when I became ill, he was already pulling through. And so he was strong enough to take care of me, which was, which was really, really good. We were there for, for each other. The symptoms like fever, muscle ache, cough. The muscle ache was excruciating and that's, that's weird. I mean, I've had influenza. I've had, I've, we've all had our flu and fever and body ache. We know that, but this was so unusual for me. It was like, it was like, how, how shall I describe it? it? It was as if my muscles were being torn apart, and and I had lots of pain in my left thigh and my back. It was like somebody would go in and try to dismantle my bones. That, that's how painful it was. My husband and I, we both were trying to uh, let our immune system fight it by itself before we went to take tablets. Because when we have fever and cough, this is actually our own immune system that is trying to fight the virus or bacteria. So it's best to try to let our body fight it uh, by itself. But when the symptoms get too much, then our healthcare personnel told that we, we can actually take medication. And that's what we did. When it became too much, we thought, ah, oh, this is far too painful. Then we took our medication, cough mixture. We had to take cough mixture because it was so terrible to be coughing so much. But we didn't do that too much, though. We had a lot of tea, honey tea. And I did some kashayam. And, I mean, we all have all sorts of medicinal tea, right? ginger, cumin, um, and then white pepper, black pepper, things like that. You, know, you have, you can ask your mothers and your, or your grandmothers, they will tell you. We had a lot of those kind of drinks, medicinal tea. And I, I cooked a lot of uh, broth with ginger garlic in it, because I believe like these are things that can actually strengthen our immune, immune system. And we continue taking our vitamins, vitamin Ds, vitamin C's that's what my husband and I we both did that <clears throat> it's been like now almost three and a half weeks now almost four weeks 
my husband has pulled through, I have pulled through. But those symptoms that are still lingering around, if I were to say, it's like the tiredness. It's as if like my body has no enough energy to pull through for the whole day. It's like I'm fine, like a few hours in the morning. Then toward the evening, I'm like completely flat, flat out. I, I, I just don't have any more energy to cook or clean or read or write. I just want to go and get into bed and go to bed. And unfortunately for me, I have lost uh, my smell and taste. It's coming back now. It's, it's slowly coming back. But the first few weeks, I could not smell at all and I couldn't taste anything at all. And that, that's the biggest negative effect for me from COVID-19 is that I cannot taste my food like I could before. But I hear people tell me that it will soon come back. It will come back sooner or later. But I've got friends who have been like months and they still have not gotten back their the original taste. They can taste something, and but mostly they do not. But I, I also have friends who actually say they can taste fine. So I'm hoping for that day when I can get my taste buds back. I love food. I love spicy food. I love my Chinese food. I love my cakes. And I'm sure you do too. <clears throat> and, and the ability to smell. And... Uh, I hope it comes back because when I do my meditation, when I read my Bible, I love to have incense sticks. I love having them. I always have my candle and my incense sticks and I love the atmosphere with the light and, and the beautiful fragrance. And that is something I miss now. I do not smell them. So these are the symptoms that are still lingering around. But I believe our bodies are created so beautifully by God. It will... I think our body will fix itself and my hus my husband and I are really taking it very very carefully we are taking it very easy we do you know we never went out unnecessarily but you know you get it you get it uh, we are very careful with washing our hands we make sure that we we try to hold our distance social distancing is very important one of the most important thing I believe is social distancing you have your mask, you wash your hands, but the most important thing is the social distancing. What did I think about it as a Christian who believes that God can heal? God has healed when Christ died on the cross. He has paid the curse and the penalty for all our sins. Before I fell ill, I, I felt very encouraged to pray for my health and my husband's health. And there was this particular night I woke up at about 3 a.m. And I felt this urge to pray for our health, my husband's and my health. So I prayed. I, I read Psalm 91 where it talks about God protects us. And then I had this urge within me to take the Lord's Supper, communion. We have, we have communion wine here at home. My, my husband was fast asleep and I thought like this is a very uh, funny urge that I'm getting within me to anyhow take this uh, communion to remember the covenant that the Lord has with his people, which I did. I said I was alone, I took a little bit of uh, wafer and, 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 and the Holy Communion wine and I had a good chat with the Lord and I, and I allowed or rather I let the Lord through his scriptures remind me of his promises and his care for me. And I just received it. I just kind of like inhaled whatever that he was telling me. I said, Lord, I receive it into me. There is power in your blood and there is power in your name. I says, I receive it, Father. Whatever comes, let it come. I will go through it by your grace and your love and power and then after that day a couple of days after that I became ill so so I believe I was encouraged by God to pray so that I could go through this time of challenge in my life without losing faith without completely losing my health I did not want to be admitted in the hospital. I did not want my husband to get end up uh, end up going to the ICU 
this was something that we both prayed in agreement that whatever comes, we must be able to take care of it ourselves. That was something that we really prayed. And I believe that day when the Lord encouraged me to come have a meeting with him and take that uh, the Lord's communion, that, that bread and that wine reminded me that I have someone that has promised me. If I can believe and continue to hang on and follow him, I should be able to pull through. And I believe that's what has helped me to pull through. I read about a young man here, 38 years old, active guy, very well trained body he has. He picked up this virus from somewhere. The first seven days, eight days, the usual symptoms and toward the eighth day, he's he's feeling fine and he, he's thinking like, yes, I've survived. On the 11th day, it hits him really hard. His, his lungs could not take it. When he ended up going to the ICU, being put on the uh, respiratory machine, his lungs could not breathe by itself. And we hear lots of things. Lots of younger people are picking it up now and getting it really hard. And these are guys and girls who are well trained. And I, I'm in my 50s and my hubby is in his 60s. So I believe as a Christian, I do not know about you. I'm not judging. I'm not judging. Definitely, I'm not judging. I'm just telling you all how I faced COVID-19 and how it was for me in my walk of faith. I did not lose faith in Christ. I never once doubted that he cared for me and loved me. When I was going through it, I was talking, you know, just chatting with him all the time, talking to him, help me, Lord. How do we face this now, Lord? How do you want us to go about it? And bit by bit, we pull through. And I'm still trusting him for my taste and smell. And I believe he will make it happen. And he has created our bodies in, in the Bible says, so wonderfully are we created. Our bodies will be able to fix itself. Friends, I just wanted to encourage you, my dear friends, whatever you're going through, you are sick, you are not sick, you have money, you don't have money, whatever, just listen to the Lord. Hang in there. Because the Bible says that his word is life. His word is life. That, that's like where we put our anchor. Our hope is on him. And he will help us go through. As I always say, you don't have to be a Christian in order to become sick. Everybody in the world do fall sick sometime in their lives. So COVID-19 is nothing to joke about. It, it is terrible. It really is terrible. <laughs> but God with us, we can face it. And, and, and as time goes on, our bodies too will recover. And we hope that God will help us to recover sooner than later. Take care, people. Take care. Do not take it lightly respect and follow the instructions and 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 things that your government or your healthcare people give you yeah there's a lots of discussion and conspiracy theory yeah, sometimes they are right i'm not saying like you know everybody's wrong yeah you weighed yourself you weighed yourself because at the end of it you are responsible for your life and for the life of those around you i'm glad that i'm i'm able to come and talk to you in a way, I do thank God that I too had to go through this terrible experience. I understand now what it means to have COVID-19, though I did not go through that, that real terrible stage where people have gone through. Lots of people have died. Lots of people are still struggling to recover. The recovery period is no joke. It's a lot of work that the body has to put in in order to restore itself. We, we do need to take care, not only for COVID-19, anything else that has to do with life. Thank you, friends. Stay safe. I'll see you in a short while. I have a sermon uh, from the Bible. It's Easter week, and we'll talk about it. Bye. I'll see you soon.